Hi, my name is Marianne Obst and welcome to my YouTube channel. Complexwounds.com is our website that you can go to where all these different videos are contained. Today, we're gonna to talk about using the new Cleanse Choice Complete Dressing, which is the new dressing from 3M and KCI. It looks like this, it's got waffles on one side and it's flat on the other side. We're gonna put it onto my friend Barb's leg wound. She doesn't actually have a wound, but we made one for her. If you like what you see here, you can always hit subscribe and that way we can send you updates when we have new videos and that kind of thing. So anytime I'm gonna put on a dressing, I always like to think about not only the wound itself, but the tissue around. So we have the soft tissue injury. First thing I kind of ask is, is there healthy skin or is the patient very painful? If everything looks great, you can use standard acrylic drape, but if it doesn't, sometimes you can upgrade to the silicone hybrid drape, which you'll be seeing today in this video. And I asked myself, does it need debridement? Because then a lot of times I know I want to use this dressing that, with the holes in it and obviously get a surgical consult. But even sometimes without the need for debridement, I will lean towards the installation negative pressure to prevent any buildup of slough or non-viable tissue. And then as always thinking about discharge right at admission, can the patient go home with standard negative pressure? If they can, do we want to have it being instilled? Because there is that option by Cork Medical. They have a home vac called the Nissus, and it has an installation add-on that you can add on and just have the patient self-administer installation at home. Pretty slick. And if they're like in a walker or they don't have a home, or there's another situation environmentally, sometimes I'll just put them in advanced wound dressing and have them come back to clinic. So there's always lots of options. We have a lot of foams that we know, like the black foams and the white foams. This was an installation foam that we actually decided not to keep on the shelves at our hospital, but it is for installation from 3M. This is the current installation foam with the big holes in it. This is the intra-abdominal dressing. That spider is what goes right against the open exposed bowel. And then this is the new foam that is an installation foam with the big holes. And this is an incisional management foam dressing that goes over the top of closed incision. So if it's purple, there is no wound. It's just a incision. Drape updates. We all know this drape. The new drape that comes with installation is a little bit smaller, but still acrylic. But the one you're going to be seeing today is this hybrid silicone drape that you can pick up and reposition and put back down. And it really is a little bit less painful for the patients. Update on track pads. We all know the standard negative pressure track pad. In the large installation kit, there is an independent negative pressure track pad and an installation track pad. And then with the medium kits, it's all combined together. This is an example of a below the knee amputation wound. And so we're using a medium kit with the combined installation negative pressure track pad. And you can see once we deploy it, it kind of goes down a little bit, but it has a pretty strong tension to this foam and you don't need a ton of fluid. We only put 18 mils in for this gentleman. And this is what it looked like before we took it down. And then the dressing, I always like to check the back of the dressings just to see how things look, if there's any leak points or anything like that. And then look at how beautiful his wound look. Pretty cool. So now we're going to do a actual demonstration of this on Barb's leg. I hope you guys enjoy that. Hi, this is a leg wound on my friend Barb, and we're going to demonstrate placing Cleanse Choice Complete Dressing with a medium foam that has the track pad and the installation in combination with itself. So you only have one. We're going to put a barrier ring around the edge because um, we find that that helps a lot. I'm going to use my little strips here to picture frame on top of my barrier ring, just like this. I like to hang those strips right into the wound edge so that you have less pain when you take off the drape and it helps you to get that seal because you set that barrier ring back a half a centimeter and then this junction right here really helps you to get a nice tight seal so patient dressing won't leak during the installation phase because we all know during installation, there's no negative pressure deployed. And so that puts your dressing at risk of coming loose. And then I pre-cut my foam so I'm ready to go. And I'm gonna take a nice big piece of Dermatac and cover this. I like to take the tabs off of my Dermatac before I put it on the patient. What I have learned is that I'll lay it directly on top of the wound. And then because you can reposition this drape, especially on a circular fashion like this leg, I kind of put it right over the wound and then I just compress the foam just a titch 
and then lay these edges down. And I can always go back and straighten them out, which is the beauty of this drape. So it's nice and comfortable for the patient, especially walkers. And if you have a real hard angle, we'll definitely give these guys a little bit of a trim so we can do what we call the pedal technique, which we're pedaling down over the top. I'm gonna put your tail upwards so you don't trip, okay, honey? And then during the drawdown phase, you really wanna give your dressing some love and generally you can get it to draw down pretty easily. Almost every time with Cleanse Choice Complete or Cleanse Choice, you'll have the whistling when you actually have the drawdown happening. And that's the beauty of the Cleanse Choice Complete. It's pretty easy. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of the leg wound and how we're using the new Cleanse Choice. Um, I think it really shows on that below the knee amputation how effective this dressing truly can be. But I also want to give a big shout out to Barb Carlson, the 3M KCI rep that loaned me her leg so I could put the wound on her. And then the Regents Hospital Sim Center for giving us equipment and the time in their Sim Center to shoot some of these videos. You guys are the best. Again, if you want to subscribe, we'll send you updates to complexwounds.com. And also in there, if you want to send me some information like, hey, I know how to do this a little bit better, or I have a different technique, that's awesome. Or if you have any questions, I'm pretty good about answering questions as soon as I can. So have a great fun fistula Friday, though it was not really fistulas today, it was kind of complex wounds instead. So have a great day.